Hello, and now I'm going to show you how to add hyperlinks to pictures and add selective hyperlinks to selective picture parts. So here we have the presentation overview that we worked on in the other tutorial. We have slide one and slide two, but this isn't what I want to use. I want to use a picture to help orientate my students or um, to whatever I want them to see. So rather than having hyperlinks just listed, what we can do is we can add hyperlinks into pictures. Or actually what we do is we add hyperlinks on top of pictures. So what we want to do is go up into Insert, and we want to go to Shapes. And some of this, there's many, many, many different shapes you can use. Um, I tend to just use the, the blocks or the circles, depending on what it is I want to have the um, have the students link to. So I'm going to do a shape of a square. I'm going to take that square, and I'm going to draw it right there. And so you see the square, and you can't see the chalkboard behind it, but I'd like them to think that the chalkboard is the hyperlink to something else. So what we want to do then is first we're going to add the hyperlink. So we have the, that square selected. We're going to add the hyperlink. And we're going to do it as a place in the document. And we want to link it to slide number one. So that gives us the preview like before. So that's good. So now we have a hyperlink within that image. But we want to turn that image down and, and mess with the image a little bit so that you can't see the image itself. So what we need to do, in this case I've right clicked on it and I want to do the format shape. And you get this. Now we need to have, there's a couple things to keep in mind. In order for the hyperlink to work the shape needs to be recognized that it's there. So you can't make it have no fill, meaning that there's no solid color in this area. There needs to be something that, that's recognized there. So what we need to do, and it should be solid, I don't believe the trans if we turn the transparency to a gradient it will not quite work as well. So there's a lot of controls there. But in this case, since we're not seeing it anyway, we're going to turn the transparency to 100 so that you can't see it. You could leave it as this is 82, and this gives the illusion that something is over there, so that might be a visual cue that students could use, that something's there, they might need to figure out what that is. Um, we could bump it up just a little bit and add just a little bit. There's a little color there, but not much. So that's it, transparency 90. But then the other piece we need to worry about, aside from the fill, we need to look at the line color. And this, we do the same thing with, we bump it, the transparency down to 100 and it will not, the line the outside line will not be there anymore and we can't see it but it's still there so this keeps the hyperlink functioning within the um, picture within the image that we within the shape not the picture that we created the the, it, the shape is sitting on top of the picture so we do close then now if we do a slideshow this picture should link back to um, should link to slide number one. So if we do from beginning, we have migrate presentation. Here's the first presentation overview slide, and here is the second one. And you can kind of here with the picture on it, you can kind of see the picture. The the hand turns into the pointer, the little pointer thing that is always says there's a hyperlink to something, so that they know there's something there. And you can kind of see the faint blueness that we left in there with the transition transparency at 90. So if we click on that, it links to slide number one. But if we click the overview slide, it's going to take us back to the first presentation overview. All right. We're going to end that show, so we're going to go back to the picture one, and what we're going to do here is we're going to click on the picture on the the shape that we created, and we're going to right click on it, and we're going to edit the hyperlink because I want to add a little piece of information here. There's within the text to display right next to that. There's something called a screen tip, and this is a little pop-up box that occurs. And what we can say here is we can give a little description of what might happen when you click on that slide, or on that hyperlink, I mean. So in this case, I'm going to put link to slide number one. I'm going to do OK. 
So remember that screen tip up in the corner here. We're going to do OK. And then if we go back to the presentation and go back to, here's our presentation overview that has the picture with the hyperlink in the picture. If we click on that, it, there's a little box on there that says link to slide number one. So then the, they know what's going to happen if they click on that link. And you can add as many shapes in here as you'd like, but just keep in mind that they need to have a, a solid fill and the solid line needs to be there too, but then you can turn the transparencies down and it will um, not be seen. So the next step to this would be to do a shift and click on the picture. And then at this point, what we can do is we can group those together. So then if we, within this picture, if we move the picture around, the, the shape with the hyperlink in it will stay put. So if we move this around, it did not. So there we go, and it's it seems like you have to click outside and then move it, and then the shape st the internal shape stays there. But if the shape inside is activated, then it will not stay where you want it to. So if we move it down, we can move it around a little bit. Okay, there we have it, right where we wanted it. We click outside, and then we click back on the picture. So as long as that shape that we added isn't selected, then it move then it moves with the picture when you group it. When it's selected um, outside, when you select outside um, and the shape isn't selected, then it will, if it's selected within, it moves. If it's selected outside, it does not move. All right, and that's how to add a hyperlink to a picture with using a shape.